Hello, I am Sir Kim, your math teacher. Are you ready for this week's lesson? Last week, pinag-aralan natin yung visualizing numbers. There are two ways on how we can visualize number. First, is by using number disks. Ito yung nag-drawing kayo ng bilog-bilog tapos sinulatan nyo ng 10,000, 1,000, 100, 10, at 1. The second one is by using blocks. For this week, we'll be learning about rounding off and arranging numbers. Para maintindihan natin kung gaano kalaki ang isang number, we always compare and arrange them from greatest to least o least to greatest. We also make numbers simpler by rounding them off. At the end of this week, you'll be able to round numbers to the nearest thousand and ten thousand and order numbers up to one hundred thousand in increasing or decreasing order. Para sa ating learning task, select and write the number which is not arranged in the required order. Here is an example. I have here four numbers, 5,099, 3,015, 5,219, and 6,311. Dapat daw naka-arrange sila from least to greatest. Maliit, Papalaki. Anong number kaya dyan ang naliligaw? Very good. Yung 3,015. Kapag nagko-compare tayo ng malalaking numbers, we compare the digits starting from the left. The greater the value of the digit, the greater is the value of the number. Para mapagsunod-sunod natin yung numbers from least to greatest, hahanapin mo natin yung pinakamalit na number papalaki. Ganon din naman pagka greatest to least. Malaki naman yung nauuna, tapos papaliit. Here is an example. We should arrange this number from greatest to least. Unang-una, titignan mo natin yung nasa kaliwang number. Kung same number sila, punta na tayo sa pangalawang number. Kapag hindi na sila pare-parehas, tsaka natin siya ayusin from greatest to least. Malaki, papaliit. So, mauuna ang 35,309, susunod ang 34,821, at panghuling-huli yung 33,952. Proceed naman tayo sa pag round off ng numbers. Here is an example. The school enrollment of 5,231 5, can be rounded off to the nearest thousand. So, ano ba yung number na nasa thousands place? Yung 5. So, gagamitin natin itong fishbone para mas maintindihan natin kung paano mag-round off ng numbers. Kapag pinlat natin kung nasan yung 5,231, banda dito siya matatagpuan. Saan ba siya mas malapit? Sa 5,000 or sa 6,000? Very good. So, when you round this off, ang magiging sagot natin ay 5,000. Sa pag-round off ng numbers, ito yung mga pwede nating sundin. Look at the value of the digit to the right of the digit to be rounded off. Next, kapag yung digit daw na yun ay equal or greater than 5, dadagdagan natin ng 1 yung number. Kapag hindi naman, mananatiling ganun yung number. At panguling-huli, papalta natin lahat ng number ng kasunod na ito ng zeros. For example, itong number na ito ay i-round off down natin to the nearest thousands. Ano ba yung number na nasa thousands place? Very good. Yung 3. Tignan natin yung number sa kanan ng 3. Yung number 9. Mas malaki ba siya sa 5? So, Papalta natin yung 3, magiging 4. So, pag niround off natin ang 23,945 to the nearest thousand, magiging 24,000. Isa pang example. Let us round this number to the nearest 10,000. Ano namang number ang may 10,000's place? Very good. Yung 2. Tingnan natin yung number sa tabi ng 2. 3. Equal ba o mas malaki siya sa 5? Hindi. So, 
mananatili yung 2 at papalitan natin lahat ng number kasunod niya ng zeros. Ang magiging sagot natin ay 20,000. So, for learning task number 2, arrange the numbers from greatest to least. Malaki, papaliit. Here is an example. Two hundred fifty-three, one hundred eighty-nine, at four hundred thirty-three. Aayusin daw natin, simula sa malaki, papaliit. Ang may pinakamalaking value dito ay yung four hundred thirty-three, kasunod naman niya ang two hundred fifty-three, at panghuling-huli yung one hundred eighty-nine. Next, learning task number 3. Arrange the following set of numbers in increasing order. Simula sa maliit, papalaki. Para sa learning task number 4, arrange the following sets of numbers in decreasing order. Malaki, papaliit. Learning task number 5. Select the number which is not arranged in the required order. Kaparehas ito nung ginawa natin sa learning task number 1. For example, itong number daw na ito ay dapat naka-arrange in increasing order. Ano kaya dito yung naliligaw na number? Very good, yung 39,276. Learning task number 6. Round the following numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Example, 73,257. Ira-round off natin siya sa nearest thousands. Titignan natin ano ba yung nasa thousands place. Yung 3. Ang number sa right niya ay 2. So, magre-remain siya sa 3. Ang magiging sagot natin ay 73 thousands. Kapag naman sa 10 thousands, tignan natin yung number na nasa 10 thousands place. Yung 7. Ang katabi niya ay 3. So, It will remain 7 and the rest ay gagawin nating zeros. Learning task number 7. Round off the actual price and write the figures on the appropriate column. Parehas lang nung ginawa natin kanina sa learning task number 6. I-round off din natin siya sa nearest thousands at sa ten thousands. Learning task number 8. Round off the following underlined digit to the nearest placed value. Ito example. Ang naka-underline ay yung 3. Tignan natin yung number sa right ng 3. 2. So, magre-remain pa rin yung 3. Ang magiging sagot ay 73,000. Ito pa. Ang naka-underline naman ay yung 2. Ang number sa right niya ay 5. So, mag-increase tayo ng 1. Magiging 73,300. Last, learning task number 9. Write the letter of the correct answers on your paper. Sana naintindihan mo yung lesson natin ngayong linggo. See you ulit next week. Bye!